गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम स्टे होम स्टे सेफ टूडे इन दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन आई एम हियर विथ पार्ट टू ऑफ हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिजम रिप्रोड्यूस ऑफ टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन एंड इट्स एडवांटेज टिश्यू कल्चर एंड इट्स एडवांटेज पार्थेनो कार्पी एंड पार्थेनो जेनेसिस फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इन हायर ग्रुप ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वेजिटेटिव प्रोपेगेशन नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज वेजिटेटिव प्रोपेगेशन बिकॉज इन दिस मोड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन ओनली वेजिटेटिव पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट दैट इज रूट स्टेम लीव्स एंड ब्रांचेस आर टेकिंग पार्ट इन द रिप्रोडक्शन द plants in which vegetative reproduction are mostly seen are rose jasmine sugarcane bryophyllum guava potato onion mint strawberry lily etc the given figure shows about different types of vegetative propagation they are cutting layering grafting tissue culture etc so first we will study about cutting cutting is a process in which small piece of stem root leaf or a bulb scale is removed by cutting and it is grown in the process of cutting the cutting of a plant is placed partly under the moist soil as a result of which root and shoot develops and further it behaves as new plant example of cutting are roses sugarcane chrysanthemum grapes etc here in this figure you may observe cutting of rose plant and mint plant and also leaf of bryophyllum with buds which can be cut and grow into complete plant second type of vegetative reproduction is layering in layering a branch of plant is pulled towards the ground and a part of it is covered with moist soil when it is attached and supported by the mother plant or parent plant within few days new roots and shoots appear from the parts of branch that is covered with the soil then the branch is cut off from the parent plant and further it behaves as new plant it can be easily done by you in home also if you have plants like jasmine strawberry raspberry lemon guava hibiscus etc see here the process of layering layering is of different types air layering simple layering tip layering serpentine layering trench layering and mound or stool layering next is about grafting in grafting stems of two different plants are joined together in such a way that they will unite and grow as one plant in grafting there are two parts one is sion another is a stalk so let us see what is the difference between sion and stalk the portion of plant that is grafted on to other plant is called sion and the plant in which grafting is done is called as stalk when we join sion and stalk the cambium that is meristematic tissue of both come in contact with each other and new plants will appear from here by this method of vegetative propagation we can get different varieties of lemon oranges grapes rose pineapple etc you can observe here the process of grafting and how it is done now let us see what are the advantages of vegetative reproduction 
by means of vegetative reproduction the desirable characters of the plant may be replicated and large number of plants similar to parent plants can be developed in a short period of time by vegetative reproduction we can reduce the period of maturity flowering and fruiting large number of varieties can be obtained by vegetative reproduction it also needs less attention and less cost now let us see about tissue culture as the name indicate it means culture of tissues so how culture of tissue can be achieved so here small pieces of plant tissue that small pieces of plant tissue is called explant are grown in nutrient medium that contains nutrient and hormones and they are done in aseptic condition means the condition which is free from any type of microbes it requires lot of patience and a well developed tissue culture lab is also required tissue culture is also called as micro propagation why it is called as micro propagation because small part of the plant is sufficient to develop into large number of plants tissue culture is done in vitro in vitro means it is related to the glass ware not in field example of tissue culture plants in which the tissue culture is done are banana bamboo orchids dahlia carnation etc in the given figure you will observe that how x plant is converted into callus what is callus it is the undifferentiated mass of cells and from callus we can grow complete plant now let us see what are the advantages of tissue culture by tissue culture we can develop disease resistant high yielding early flowering and early maturity plant we can also develop haploid plant by tissue culture method now the last topic is about parthenocarpy and parthenogenesis so let us see what are the differences between these two parthenocarpy means development of a fruit without prior fertilization means without fertilization the fruit is developed here parthenogenesis reproduction from an ovum without ovum without fertilization see in both the cases that is without fertilization one is taking place in plants another is taking place in animals fruits produced uh, through parthenocarpy does not contain contain seeds that is seedless fruits can be developed in parthenogenesis organism produced uh, are mostly haploid and unable to reproduce sexually parthenocarpy occurs in plants such as watermelon banana pineapple orange and roses parthenogenesis occur in lizard and insects like honey bee so children this is all about today's session in the next session i will be back with four new to uh, new topics of this lesson in part 3 thank you and have a nice day for any doubt please write your questions in comment section